Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. When it comes to processors, there's almost this halo around Apple and their custom silicon. And rightly so because they are far and away the best in the world. That's why in this video, I thought we'd talk about the upcoming Apple A14 X chip and potentially the M14 X chip. Let's get started. So first of all, our story begins about 10 years ago when Apple first introduced us to A4, their first custom silicon in their iPhone. And even then, it was more powerful and more power efficient than anything else in the world at that time. Apple quickly followed this up with more improvements until two years later, you had the Apple A5X and the A5. The A5 was their regular iPhone processor and the A5X was their iPad processor third generation. Now, what's interesting here is that Apple used the bigger form factor of the iPad to improve the cooling by up to 38% to add two more GPU cores and to double the GPU performance. If you look at the Geekbench scores of the iPad versus the iPhone, you can see that it is pretty significant in the difference. Now coming forward a couple of years from there, we finally had the A12X and the A12. Now the Geekbench 4 scores of the A12 found on the iPhone XX and the XX Max are pretty respectable. However, they are completely blown out of the water when compared to the A12X chip. Now, I'll remind you that this is Geekbench 4. So if we reset that for Geekbench 5, we still find that the A12X chip is extremely respectable. Now, a couple more things to tell you before I go. First of all, we had alleged Geekbench results of the A14 chip and you can see that this is Geekbench 5 but however, it has a single core score of 1600 and a multi-core score of 4600. Going by the fact that the X series of processors is at least 60% faster, we can assume that the A14 X chip will have a single core score of about 1600 but a multi-core score of about 9000. Just for kicks, I have up on screen the MacBook Pro 13 inch with the Intel Core i5 10th generation processor and you can see the Geekbench score for yourself. The other bit of news is that the Apple A14 X chip, which is going to come on the next iPad Pro to launch in the first half of 2021 and the Mac chip have already entered mass production in Q4 of 2020 and finally, there is one more rumor from this user on Reddit, which says that the MacBook Pro 14 inch will launch on September 15th, 2020. It will be powered by the M14 X chip, which will be at least 20% faster than the A14 X chip and will have better GPU performance and better thermals. It will have 8 GB of RAM and 512 GB of SSD storage. And I think it will be absolutely astounding. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments on what you're expecting for the Apple A14X and the M14X in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.